Uh, good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we are going to take a look at an aggressive attacking game played by Hungarian chess master Geza Marozzi. His opponent is Russian chess master Mikhail Chigorin, who played two world championship matches against Wilhelm Steinitz, losing both times. But today's video is not about that. This game is played in 1903 in Vienna. With this being said, now let's go for the game. Maruzzi opened up with e4 to which Chigorin answered with e5. And White's next move is f4. What can be better than King's Gambit in those times? E takes f4. King's Gambit accepted is on the board. Knight f3, g5. Black is hiring to strengthen his pawn on f4. And if needed, black pawn can even step forward attacking white knight, something which we see in our game and after g4 we have a rare continuation starting with knight c3. Marozzi chooses the so-called McDonald gambit named after Irish chess master Alexander McDonald. But this is a very rare line and throughout the history only dozens of games have been played with this continuation. Better move is considered to be castling kingside, as you know, this is known as Muzio Gambit. But in our game we have knight c3. Black accepted the peace sacrifice, d6, d4. So at this point still it was not too late to castle kingside. d4 and bishop e6. Now look, as already with d6, black opened up the light squared bishop's diagonal. In here it was better to play queen h4 check followed by queen g4. A very active defensive course with which black wants to exchange the queens and simplify the position. But instead we have bishop e6. That, that's why uh, after d6 it was very important to castle. Ok, d4 bishop e6 was played, knight d5. Uh, white is of course rejecting the offer of exchange of bishops. The light squared bishop in future can be very useful when putting pressure on opponent's position. And right now we have a hanging knight, but in here Marozzi decided to sacrifice that knight as well and we have castling kingside. This is move 9 and the second knight is gone. This is crazy, it takes d5. Finally, finally white managed to open up the e-file for the rook. Bishop f5, bishop takes f4, bishop g6. Uh, in here Stockfish suge suggests a very strong uh, defense starting with queen f6. If rook a e1 check then king d8. But from a human point of view coming up with a defense like this is very difficult. Instead we have bishop g6, bishop b5 check, knight d7 and rook e1 check. Black has two extra pieces but holding this position is not that easy. You have to be very accurate. Bishop takes d6, king f8 and now a question arises how should white proceed. Can you find white's next moves? Ready? This time we have an exchange sacrifice on e7. Uh, of course not bishop takes e7. In that case black is managing to stop the attack. That's why we have an exchange sacrifice, keeping the pin. The second rook is coming. King g7, bishop takes e7, queen a5, hitting both on e1, on b5, queen e2, uh, neutralizing both threats. Also, the queen is now going to play a key role in the attack from the e-file. Now the knight on d7 is hanging, black moved it back, but this is a terrible mistake. We reached another critical position where the task is to find the winning line for white. Ready? This time we have bishop f6 check. Now look, this bishop f6 was a very dangerous threat and it was better to keep the knight on d7. For example, in here rook hd8 is good. If bishop takes d7, then of course not rook d7, again bishop f6 is winning. You should play queen takes d5 having control over e5. And now if here then check and then queen takes b2. Some crazy lines you know. Uh, this is how black can survive but we have knight f8 and there followed this destructive bishop f6 check. And of course the bishop is untouchable because of the checkmate. Now can you understand how important it was to 
put the queen on the e file. King goes back on g8, queen e5. This time white wants to win the rook. h6, bishop takes h8. f6 neutralizing the th mating threat, but we have another threat. White is renewing the threat. King takes h8, check. King g8, and with rook e7, finally white forced the resignation. A very, very aggressive attack by Morozzi, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. In the end, the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the black pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next video.